Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're still in Philippians chapter 1, verses 29 and 30 today, wrapping this chapter up. Uh, you know, the Apostle Paul suffered during his life for preaching Jesus. Uh, in 2 Corinthians, he describes what he went through. But he suffered for preaching the gospel. Today, millions of Christians every single day suffer for believing in Jesus. Sometimes their houses are burned, sometimes their churches are burned, sometimes they're attacked physically, uh, sometimes they're sold into slavery. I mean, they're, they're being persecuted today. Uh, now, we see it as a tragedy, but the Apostle Paul called it a privilege. Philippians chapter 1, verse 29 says, Paul says, For it has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ, you should not only believe in him, but also suffer for his sake, engaged in the same conflict that you saw I had, and now hear that I still have. Now, Paul's writing to them from prison. When he was in Philippi the first time, when he shared the gospel, he was imprisoned wrongly. God miraculously delivered him from prison in the middle of the night. You can read about it in Acts 16 if you want to. Uh, but So he's talking about, I was in prison, you saw me, I praise God in that. Uh, and now I'm still praising God even though I'm in prison. But did you catch this? He says, it is granted to you, which literally the word granted is the same word used for grace. So literally it is a grace given to you to not only believe in Jesus, but also to what? Did you see that? To suffer for Jesus. He says, it is a grace given to us to suffer for Jesus. Now that is a different attitude than many churches teach you know, because there's some churches that are teaching, hey, you know, you're, if you believe in Jesus enough, you're not going to have hardships or illness or, or poverty or anything like that. Uh, but it's also a different attitude than a lot of us want to hear. We don't really like this part where Paul says, hey, it's a grace given to you to suffer for Jesus. By the way, he wasn't alone in that. You know, the apostles uh, in Acts chapter 5 were arrested and put on trial and and at the end of that trial, instead of being executed, which is a good thing, they were just whipped with the, the whips that Jesus was. You know, they received the, the scourging uh, that ripped the flesh from their backs. And it says in Acts 5 that they left praising God and were feeling honored that they would suffer for the name of Jesus. So um, Paul calls it a privilege to suffer for his faith. We need this attitude. This needs to be our attitude that if we have to suffer for Jesus for our faith, then that we can rejoice in that because that's what's going to give us the victory. After all, in Romans 5, the Apostle Paul said, for we Christians rejoice in our suffering. Why? Because suffering produces endurance. Endurance produces character. and Character produces hope. And hope will not disappoint. So I hope that encourages you and helps us all to follow Jesus better. Have a great day.